Okay, so today we're going to go over the installation of a DIN PA in Windows 7. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have your programs. So you need to have your open PA. And then you also need to have uh, JDK. And then, which is Java. Um, and then you need to have Postgres, which is here. Uh, 9.5 or another version. Alright. So now that we have those, we need to go through and create a uh, system variable. How we do that is we go to the control panel, then go to system and security, system, Here we will go to advanced settings, <coughs> environment variables, and we will go up here and create new. You can see that I already have mine created, but for you, you would go through create new, name, uh, Adenpierre, underscore home, and for your value, you are going to need to go back over here to your DNPA file on your C drive. Click on that. Open it. Copy this information and paste it in here. Okay. So that will give you DNPA home. You need to do the same for Java home. Okay, and then one more for your Postgres. And for me, program files or wherever you have them, Postgres. Okay, after you have all those things done, you need to come back to system variables, find path, uh, edit, copy this information right here, okay, open up uh, Notepad or Microsoft Word, in my case I'm going to do Notepad. Paste the information here. And next, yours will end right here. So all of this stuff added. Uh, you find this information in the same place that you just used for the path. The only ones you need here are the information for or the path for. Java and the path for Postgres. So you find those the same way you found whenever you did your variable. Okay? So after you put that all together, copy the whole thing. Alright. And you paste it back in to your value. Click OK. Okay. Okay. Now you are ready to uh, set up your Denpierre program. So you go here, go to your Denpierre, click, scroll down, run. 
and set it. It'll open your dialog box. So here you have your Java. This should be your path to Java. It should come up. If not, you can leave it here. Or your Gimpy at home should be the same place you just uh, just created. This is your computer's name. Uh, web port is fine. All these, all these should be okay. Down here, local host. Is your server? The computer is your database name for Postgres. Is your port? This is Postgres. Uh, is the user and the password over here that you have assigned for your Postgres? So after everything is uh, been inputted, you come down here and click test. It should run your test. After if you've checked, then everything here is checked. That means you're good. So everything is good. Click save. Alright, so you should end up with build successful, no time, and then it'll pop up with error level equal to zero. So, after that is done, you can click all that. Now you need to open Postgres. Here you go to Postgres. Come up here, expand your databases. Now you will need to create a database in here. Um, you can see that I have already created one. So the way you do that is you just right click and you go to properties or new object, new database. Go here, type in the name. Here, it'll click OK. Now, now that you have that, um, minimize this. Go back to your Gimpier folder. Come down to YouTube. that yeah this will pop up click any key ok and then this will run it will take a minute to do
Okay, so after you have imported all your files, you should have a uh, should be able to go to Facebook and see that your Adventure database has opened here under schemas. And in here, you should have uh, 727 tables. I have two more because I've done a few other things. Okay, so the last step we need to do is we need to go back to our event here. Real quick. Scroll down. Or click. And click on run event here. See this pop up. And the first thing you need to check is check your connection. So double click, look up here, and make sure all this is correct. So make sure your database is first correct. Uh, local host, you have the correct port number. Your uh, database name is the one that you just created, or didn't hear. You should have your username. Mine is first correct and your password. And then you just go down here, click test database. It'll pop up with a check if everything is okay. Uh, so everything's fine. You go here, check, and then just click the check. Sign in. And there you have it. And then here is the morning. Uh, thanks for watching.